Bye. <laughs> it's been an interesting day. How's yours been? It's been an interesting day for me too. Uh, That's the theme of the day. And I think it's the gloominess. Yeah, it is a bit that. Um, I, it's it's gloomy. It's super gloomy here. But I like gloomy days. All right, we'll 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 get we're gonna we're gonna revisit that. But hello and welcome to It's All Good. I am your host Latavia. This week I am joined by my sister, Miss J Monet, Jasmine Monet, owner of Salon Twenty Nine Eleven Transformation Hair Loss Spa. I'm forgetting one or two, but you know, she just, she's all around Renaissance woman. So, hey. Hi. Hi. Yeah, we're not doing that. Okay. So, <laughs> the last time you were on the show was... Hmm, it was like April-ish, April. May-ish, somewhere around there. And we were still... We were still in like the lockdown portion of the pandemic. Locked up, won't let me out. No. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Thankfully, technically lockdown is, oh, well, lockdown is, has been lifted and most places have come out of um or in at least like stage three now i think somewhere between stage two, phase two phase three um, we're in phase 2.5 okay 2.5 i didn't know that was a thing but nobody did but it is now that's yeah. all that matters okay so great but thankfully i i have been able to see you like in real life not just through a screen since then yeah 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 so What's been going on since? <laughs> well, um, thank. Ooh, sorry. I almost forgot before you do that. I didn't do the gratitude moment. <laughs> mm. What are you grateful for to, on this lovely, interesting day? This lovely, inter interesting day. I have a couple things I'm thankful for. I'm going to say two. Is that permissible? Okay, the first thing I'm thankful for is growth and maturity um, because the old Jasmine would have set down her salvation today and tapped into um, the old me. Um, and that's just not what he wants. It's not what he wants. So I'm so grateful for growth and maturity. I'm grateful for... Um, him showing me that you don't always have to react you can respond and he's showing me how to truly deal with negative situations positively and realize that at the end of the day it's not that deep it's not that serious and everybody can't go with you to your next season it's nothing personal it's purpose so i'm excited about that that's number one excitement and shade mixed in there okay you know he's still he's still working with me on some things so we're working in next, progress it is it is um but the second thing is i'm grateful to have an amazing coach in my life i think sometimes especially in the african-american community anytime it comes to like self um, I won't say self-help, but just like mental health and really going to therapy or seeking out counseling has been shunned. And I think I would advise anybody to have that outlet, whether that is a therapist, whether that's a counselor, whether that's a coach, life coach, whatever. You really need to have that person that you can really talk to that's unbiased, understand your goals and your dreams and your visions and, and sees how to really mold and shape that into um creating a better version of you so i actually just got caught off of a coaching call and i actually wasn't able to connect with him the majority month of september because a lot of things have been happening and going on so i'm just thankful to have that outlet in my life um because i'm learning that i'm a lot <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm locked. Oh, 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 oh do tell. <laughs> that you're I'm, locked. Locked. I'm a lot to deal with for myself. So, oh, um, being to able the, to. Welcome to the party. <laughs> yeah, so we, we that's what I'm thankful for. Well, I, um, you, you know, hey, you just said a whole lot, a whole lot of words and a whole lot of, of message there, but you just gave me a, my new gra gratitude moment. I am grateful that you have joined the party and have come into the revelation and realization that you are a lot to take in and what's that emoji it's that one and then that other one i i don't, I don't know but either way i that is ooh, okay <laughs> thank you coach but no 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 he didn't tell me that i came to that realization but i will say to caveat that i do think that i am a lot because my expectations are so high of myself thankful to felix and violet alexander and so i tend to project my personal expectations and goals and visions and standards of how things should be done on other people which i'm working on because that's not a standard across the board that everybody wants to live up to or even desires or has the capability to do so yeah and i think that's why i'm a lot we you about to take this in a whole other direction but oh okay um i i agree or not, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not saying I'm agree. I agree. I am grateful that you have come to that realization, that understanding. And I'm not, I say that, you know, yes, you are a lot, but I don't say it in a, solely in a negative stand, from a negative standpoint. I've known you your whole life. I know that you are, but you also give a lot and you have a big heart um, and a whole lot of personality. But it is a part of who you are. But I think in, and I guess kind of to piggyback off that in terms of what I am grateful for, similarly is the, in this, over the course of these last however many months it's been now of the pandemic and also, what'd you say? So in the midst of the pandemic, I can't hear you. My noodles are boiling. That's all. <laughs> oh, okay. Joy. So what I'm saying, <laughs> what I was saying is that there's I've just done a lot of a lot of self reflection, a lot of growth, um, self realization, all of those good things. And I, I would echo your sentiments in the sense of therapy, whether it be in whatever form, um, that has been something that has been helpful in just dealing and coping with this season um, but in doing that building on some of the the things that i had learned previously but then actually being able to put it into practice yeah so the expectations this was you mentioned you know realizing that you have high expectations for yourself uh and i would say indirectly or un unknowingly project those expectations onto other people and this that standard uh that standard of excellence yeah. that we you know we learned about we saw demonstrated in various ways and not demonstrated uh and the i would say in, in essence the consequences mm -hmm. of those expectations or those standards not being met um at, at various points and so i think that's a really big thing in an area that is i would say as we have grown and gotten older the more differences that i'm aware of the, there are more similarities and that that's an area that i've been working on as well but i hope that made sense but growth learning all that stuff i'm happy to hear that so aside from that or in addition to those things what else has been going on these last few months like how has life been i know that the salon is now 
back open. So yes, that is, you know, that's great news. But like, what is life like now? Um, yes, on in the midst of a pandemic. He's a good, good father. We made it on the other side of this great uh, <laughs> pandemic. And uh, I want to just, uh, no, but for real. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we made it through the pandemic. Um, I'm, I'm so grateful. And a lot of people, to be honest, a lot of people are shunning the pandemic. Um, I know a lot, um, a lot of demise has come from it. Um, a lot of anxiety, a lot of uncertainty, just people are just, I saw a meme today and it was like, we're now in the third year of 2020. Like Everybody has been like 2020 sucks, 2020 is this. And it's so funny because at church going into the new year, we had our theme for the year was in 2020, we will see the goodness of the Lord and the land of the living. And a lot of people was like 2020 clear vision, all that other stuff. And I was talking to mom about it, I think a little while ago. A lot of us were thinking, okay, we're gonna see clear vision, new things are gonna come about, this, that, and the third. But in, in actuality, I think God was showing us that, you no, know, he's gonna show you some things, some things that you didn't really want to see. He's gonna make clear some areas that needed to be rearranged, restructured, just taken away. So 2020 has been hard, the pandemic has been hard, but I can say personally, in my personal life, in my businesses, like I've seen a, a multitude of blessings and I can only be extremely thankful for what has happened, you know, coming into the beginning of this year. A lot of blessings have come out of 2020 for me and um, out of this pandemic. Uh, the salon made it through. I came into the beginning of the year with <laughs> a very large um, debt that was afforded to me at the beginning of opening the salon, having absolutely no idea how it was going to be taken care of. And a lot of people kept telling me, take out the loan, do the PPP, you know, do all these different loans. And I just, I don't want a loan. I don't want a loan. And more importantly, I just didn't have peace about it. The Holy Spirit was like, you don't need to take out a loan. I'm like, all right, God, <laughs> this is player. <laughs> oh, I need you to do something. But at the same time, even though it was a concern, I wasn't truly worried about it. I just knew that it was going to somehow, some way, he was going to show up. And did he show up and show out um, in, in more ways than one? And it's just amazing. Um, thank God for uh, different companies that provided grants. Uh, during this time, I'm thankful for the restructure that the salon is going through right now. I think it will be for the better overall. It's just, it's a lot has happened in the last couple of months, but I'm excited. I'm nervous, but I'm learning that every, anytime I get this nervous, like uh, edgy feeling, it's something amazing is about to pop off. Because I had the same uh, feeling when stepping out and leaving corporate America, and that was the best decision I could ever make. So let's go let's go well i mean you being real real chill about it but and i don't want to put all your business out in the street but you 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 didn't come up it's a little bit it's you, a little you, know, bit. you y'all didn't come up and y'all i'm not gonna put like i said i'm not gonna put your business out there but i'm gonna just say this for y'all listening and or watching if you're not, and I think I have said this a few times, if you're not already, go follow her on her multiple uh, pages and multiple businesses. I told you I can't keep up with them all, but I'm proud. I'm happy for all of them. And like I said, yes, you didn't come up. And I'm excited to see just some of the things, you know, continue to come to fruition and watching you flourish because, you know, once you flourish, I can also flourish as your full, I can then become your full-time attorney. Listen, like, I'm ready to put you on retainer, okay? It's coming. It's coming. Yes. Just, we getting there. Mm-hmm. I'm yet holding on. <laughs> um, you and a few other folks I know like yes let's keep working it's coming it's, it's coming, it's coming. And it's then coming. I, will, I will be there for you all in a more uh, in a less limited capacity is what I put it 
Uh, but that that's great. So salon businesses are going well. <laughs> I, I will say that um, Jasmine's standard, as far as where I desire for both the, the salon and the clinic to be nowhere near it, but that's something I've always also learned time and season. Um, there's, there's reasons for why certain things pop when they do and why they don't pop in certain areas. And just really setting that foundation for things to be built upon is what I really think he's, he's teaching me and he's allowing the businesses to do. Because if that exposure just came tomorrow, would I be ready for it? No, because there's a lot of things that I've learned in this last year from having a staff, from the type of owner and manager that I need to be, um, how to connect with, with clients and patients, how to not say yes to everything, how to have those boundaries in place, how to not work seven days a week and really know that I need to have time for not only myself, boy. Amen and amen. <laughs> But have time for my family to have have time for my future husband. Um, you know, learning how to be a, a a bonus mom, like all these things, he's teaching me how to do. And it's like if you don't get that in 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 balance and in structure, it's gonna crumble. So. Hmm. Okay. So I'm gonna just leave, and I'm gonna let you just take over, Minister <laughs> uh, Philip Jr. Uh, but no, those are, <laughs> I'm trying, I was like, hmm, clearly this is going in, this is, it's going in a different direction, but I'm not, I'm not mad at it, but I was going to say just kind of like how, you know, what's life like in the midst of the pandemic, but realistically, you, you touched on it earlier in that, you know, a lot of the messages that were said at Cohen coming into 2020 was just, oh, this is the year for vision, it's the year for this or that, and clarity, and it's been that. Very much despite, so. Despite, despite, or in spite of every, all of the negative that has happened, and there has been no, no shortage. A good amount of it. There's no shortage of negative, of, of despair, of just heartache, all of those things have happened, yet and still, and I can say, you know, you shared, I can say even for myself and I know of other people that in the midst of all of this, there has still been a lot of good that has mm -hmm. come out of it. And it's, you know, it's a shame that it had to take all of these things to happen to, for us to essentially pay attention. But it's like, right. no. it's like, okay, God, you, you got our attention. You have, you have people's attention, whether they are doing it willingly or not. Like everyone was forced to stop. Even right. though here in America, we don't know what that means or how to just stop and do nothing for real, for real. Mm -hmm. Even before America, this was as close to a stop right. <laughs> as I think we will ever, we, you know, we've ever been or possibly will get to of, no, you have to stop. Like, no, stop. <laughs> you, have <to> right. close. <laughs> you can't do this or you don't need to do that. Like there's everything has changed the yeah. way we do the literally the way we do life has changed and there's nothing that anyone can say or try get around it like whether it's a small one or not everything's different um businesses have legitimately closed like that were you didn't think that that was possible yeah um, Poli I'm not touching on politics this week. We already did that in another episode, but even that is different, you know, voting, which I will say, go register to vote and then vote if you have not. Um, but even that, you know, the mail-in ballots, uh, vote by mail as, as opposed to just absentee and all of the potential, the potential craziness that comes along with that. Yes. There's that, um, you know, number numerous people working from home that never work from home, um, industries changing how they, they do things. Zoom, although it was here before, is being, you know, utilized. School is virtual. <laughs> like, everything is different, but it also has birthed a lot of, create. it is, yeah, it's birthed a lot of creativity. Yeah. Uh, versus battles. 
I'm definitely grateful for those. Um, and it's also, I would say, has, I don't know, I guess taught children as well as re reminded adults of the joy of being outside. <laughs> like yeah. Going outside to play or doing things outside. I think families are spending, that are able to, you know, spending more time together. So kind of what I've, this has been the last few weeks, I've just been more intentional about just trying to focus on the positive things and finding the silver lining, so to speak, of, of the situation and spending mm -hmm. more time focusing on that as opposed to the numerous negatives. Uh, I was uh, looking at a video today on Instagram. Um, Sarah J.H. Roberts had, I think she was doing an interview with someone, but the snippet of it was basically creating your own headlines because with all the chaos and disruption going on, we tend to forget that, you know, God is still in the blessing business. He's still doing miracles today in spite of what's going on. So it's almost like taking an inventory of what's happening right now in your life and realizing, yeah, stuff can be crappy, but at the end of the day, like this, this is my headline today. And um, I have to do that more often than not. Like I was scrolling through my phone earlier today and trying to find a picture I have to submit for um, a magazine interview that I have coming up. And um, yeah, <laughs> and I was just looking back at just last year and how I was preparing to, to move into the building and going and doing different mini videos. And I really got to put that back behind the scenes stuff together. Um, but just seeing the growth that, that has happened. And it's like, we get so caught up in, especially me as visionaries, as ambitious people, we get so caught up in what we see and what we know the, the culmination is supposed to be that we don't stop to smell the roses. We don't stop to bask in the now. In more now than area. Yeah, just, just woofed, woofed. Um, but we we don't take the time to do that. And more now than ever, it's it's you have to. Life is so short. It's so short. So create your own headline or well, alrighty then. Speaking of headlines, what's your shirt say? Ooh, I am that girl. These will be posted to the website www.jasminemonet.com. By the end of this week, I got you one too. Yeah, I got you okay. one too. Um, actually, I got uh, I got you one, um, and I got two other people one because um, when I initially did, I am that girl on um, when I was speaking to Dawn's daughters. I want to say um, it was in May because it was after my birthday. That's when I kind of coined the phrase and started rolling with it, and then I actually came out with a a saying behind it. You know, true to self, honorable, ambitious, trendsetter. Uh, genuine, inspiring, uh, regal, leader. inspiring, regal uh, leader. So, I really wanted to just create the buzz about that, and don't be afraid to be that girl. Don't be afraid to be the the, the girl that's ambitious, that wants to stand out in a sea of everything being the same thing. And speaking of standing out, I'm so tired of seeing the same cookie cutter female. Like, and this is no shade. And what I mean by that, okay, I just came back from Vegas. And when I say I saw almost ever the same outfit in different colors, the same extremely long eyelashes, the same extremely long female uh, fingernails, the same extremely long 30 inch weave. And it's just, I'm not throwing shade. I'm just saying that you see that everywhere. And it's like, why can't you be who you true, uh, truly authentically are? Not to say that you can't, you know, indulge in different things. I wear lashes every now and then. There was a phase of my life where I had long fingernails. Oh, I did. I, I, there, there was a phase when I had long fingernails, and thank God for growth. And I'm not saying that, I'm not downing that by no means. Please don't let it come across like that. 
I just, why does everybody want to look exactly the same? I just don't understand that. Like, why? Why does everybody want the Instagram body? Why does everybody want the big behind and the super snatched waist and the big boobs all up in your face? And can we please leave something to the imagination? I done seen more rolls and cellulite and almost nipple exposures for the rest of my life from this weekend. Okay. All right. All right. All right. I hear you, but a couple of things. One, I'm going to say, yes, look where the Lord has brought me from. You know, he brought me from a mighty long way. I'm happy that hearing you say these things is like, oh, growth. Yes. And, and it's great. We all go through different phases because I definitely remember when you sitting here with your hair out, a short do at that was like far fetched. Was laughing. Right. I mean, I didn't, I didn't really like short hair. But no, and so I, I'm just saying that in the sense of I am, it's refreshing and it's, it, you know, it's great to hear you say these things in terms of just looking at how you have grown and matured. And I agree, there definitely needs to be, I, I, I am hopeful and encouraging of others to be, to embrace themselves and their uniqueness yeah. and who they are. And I think that, you know, everyone has to come to that on their own and they do that in their own time. And that is definitely the trend it has been for a while. Um, I think there are more people kind of pushing towards, you know, let me be me, be myself, whatever that looks like. Uh, but I did also want to say, you know, don't be hating on the cellulite and rolls because everybody. No, no, no. When I, no. when I say a whole bunch of cellulite and rolls, I have cellulite. Okay, I have rolls. I'm not saying that what i'm saying is as mommy used to say can we leave some stuff to the imagination that's what i'm saying there is nothing wrong with loving the skin that you're in i'm just saying everybody and their mom don't have to see the skin you're in oh. as in can we can we can we cover it up a little bit that's what i'm saying there's there's nothing wrong with cellulite and rolls it's just when you show the world and i mean everything is is out except for your nipples and your in your cooter cot that's what I'm saying. Just cover it up. Sounds like you got a whole, you had a, a lot to see and take in in Vegas. Yes, it's just, it was just a lot. And I was, and what baffles me is some, some, if you're with a, a, a gentleman and you're in a relationship, do they not have an issue with all your stuff being out? Not really everybody, everybody everybody's different there are some men who don't have a problem they want they that's what they like that so yeah you know, we're not going that's a whole nother lane <laughs> that we do not have time for um but you mentioned you said vegas yes one what was how was it traveling or flying uh you know with everything going on i i haven't flown since everything shut down Honestly, I I didn't have any issue at all. Everybody literally had on masks. Um, they were cleaning the, the plane more so than I feel like they did before everything happened. And it makes you wonder, okay, why weren't you guys taking these precautions before all this happened, to be completely honest? That part, um, that part. I, honestly, I felt like deplaning was the quickest I have ever experienced in my life because they literally was like, okay, this row can go. Okay, this row can go. So you didn't have to wait until this long line moved fast, fast past you and people shuffling to get their luggage out of the overhead compartments. The fastest oh, I've ever experienced it. Oh, you mean like all the people in the middle in the back of the plane standing up Russian, like yes. they can get past the people in exactly. front of them? Exactly. Oh. Exactly. There was none of that. They literally were doing row by row. Um, so I, I thought it was great. So how was the seating? Was it like, because I know at first they, I read that they were having people sent, like they weren't, essentially they weren't reserving the entire plane. So it was kind of like every other seat. Was it still that way or was it? Not with, I flew American. I'm not sure how it is with other people, but I know American had come out, if I'm not mistaken, that they were going to start filling up the planes. They okay. weren't doing so every other seat. It barely full flight then? Oh, no, it was a full flight because honestly, we were offered a $600 voucher to, um, to not take that flight. And I wanted to do it ahead of time. But that's a whole other story. But we were offered a $600 voucher to get on another flight. And then the flight coming back to Charlotte, we were offered a $300 voucher to not get on the flight. 
So they they overbooked the flights and they had a whole bunch of people on standby. But what I think American Airlines is trying to recoup all those small fare flights that they were practically giving away earlier in the year and they they trying to get all their coins, all their coins back. <laughs> Point blank period. I get that you're trying to get your coins back, but hey, it's still a pandemic, and I no, I, I agree. Need you to not oversell. Um, yeah, but I guess there, was, there was definitely some overselling going on. Definitely, but you made it there and back safely. Indeed, but indeed. Other thing I wanted to touch on um, about your trip was you went skydiving. Jumped out of a plane. I jumped out of a plane. We did. We did. Very interesting. How so. was it? Because you you know that I went. Um, yeah. You know what? It wasn't. We actually were supposed to go on Sunday, but the winds were doing what they do. So we had to reschedule for Monday morning before we left, which that was an interesting experience to say the least, because we, we got picked up at 6.15 and then our diving experience was supposed to be at 7 a.m. So it wasn't bad. Like we got there. I thought I was going to be more nervous than I was, but I wasn't. But um, the guy that I was jumping with was super duper cool. He really was just like, this is what it is. This is what you're going to do. And that's what it is. And when it was, when we got up there and it was time to go, he was like, just let me do everything. Don't worry about moving your feet to get off the plane. So he literally pushed me out. We didn't have a chance to say, no, nah, I'm good. And so David went before me and all I saw was his head just drop off and I was like oh my god and so then I went to the end he was like you ready and he just we just went and all I remember was just like falling out and for a while I was like this is it Jesus this is how I'm gonna go well I'm ready <laughs> Heaven, here I come but, <laughs> but I couldn't breathe for a second so I had to like remember they said breathe out of your mouth not out of your nose and after that but what shocked me was when he pulled the parachute and it yanked us up um that was kind of like oh my god but the view was beautiful the only thing i didn't like was the harness was super uncomfortable and i think it was because of the pants i wore but i literally thought it was cutting off my cooter cut so i would really want to do a what different kind of harness. were you wearing <laughs> i was just wearing the like the tights kind of pants like the set the shirt and the yeah but next time more padding um <laughs> So, but other than that, it was beautiful up there. I definitely agree with your sentiments. When you're up that high, you literally see that things are just specs. Nothing is ever that serious. It's never that deep. It's oh yeah, I, I yeah, I'm happy you're able to do it. So now we gotta we gotta go together. Now most definitely, I'm trying to go again. No, I, like I said, I told you I would do it again. But the point about you know people like oh what was it like in terms of that's why I say technically I didn't jump out of a plane. Yeah, no, I just got pulled out. I was still out. I was pushed out. <laughs> uh, but I will say like knowing that the the person you know the the jumper, I don't know the proper term, but the person who was attached to me that did the jump with me like that that gave a very. That gave me a lot of comfort, a lot of solace in the sense of, okay, I'm, I am not just doing this by myself. Um, and it was just a very serene and peaceful moment. But you know, thank you, Holy Spirit, not even to make it spiritual, but I just thought about something. And I hate saying that because I hear from the Father. Anyway, um, but anyway, just to realize that as believers, you know, we're not doing life alone we're literally doing a tandem jump in life. Like we have the father right there. Like, I don't know why you're trying to do this or why you're trying to put your hands on stuff, but if you would just literally let go and let me handle it, you literally can just glide and just enjoy the peace that I'm trying to give you. But it's when you try and get out of the way and handle it and control it, that things start to mess up. But we're literally operating in a tandem jump. And he's like, chill out, I got this plan. So as soon as we'd be like, cool. That, mm, yes, I literally had that, that thought revelation like last Friday, I was doing my devotion and writing. And I was like, hold up. Oh, <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Because it was, what is it? Stand still and know that I'm like, hey, right. hey, 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 dum 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 dum. <laughs> like that, that's, that's kind of I'm like, yo, just stop. <laughs> Literally, just don't do nothing. Stop. That, nope. Mm -mm, stop. And pretty much, I guess, going back to this year with the pandemic, I feel like that is what 
It's been just stop. Right. Just stop. Think about it. And okay, now like wait for instructions. And that is, I guess that would say that is the that is the lesson of just trusting the process. Yep. Uh, which is a lot of what I've been doing. But I know that you've got businesses to run and such. Um and I go ahead. No, no, I was about to say, actually, I'm about to cut it off in the next 30 minutes. I have put myself on a, if it's after this time, it's it's quality time. Because oh, if, if not, this thing will literally run you. So you, and honestly, that is, if I could tell anybody that's a business owner, not even just a business owner, but you don't even have to be in a relationship be just for your sanity. Like at a certain time, put your phone on do not disturb and put it somewhere where you cannot easily access it. Because if you do not, you will be on this and you will wonder why every time you go to sleep and wake up, you're still tired because your mind is still running. You're thinking about the thing you last looked at and trying to figure out that as soon as you wake up and then other stuff. So, yeah. Well, all right. just look at all this this growth and just growing all over the place. And the oh yeah, it's a out. process. It is a process, and I am I am so happy to hear it and also be able to witness it. And so, thank you again for taking some time. You know, just kind of say hey, check in with me, see how you're doing, and I'm happy. Hey, girl. To <laughs> Not only you know, like that you are you are thriving. You as well as the businesses are even when it doesn't always feel like it. it is even when I don't feel it, you working. Even when I don't, I don't see it, it. you working. Yes. You never stop. You never stop working. It never stops. <laughs> but you need to stop. So. Oh, <laughs> with that in mind, I'm not going to share, I'm not going to do a random shower thought this week, but thank you again. Oh, you have one? I was actually thinking about your um, one that you said that nobody uh, washes their legs or Some people don't, don't wash, their legs. wash their legs or their feet. And yeah. we were, we, I don't know where we were at. I think we were at the Cosmopolitan or something or at, no, we were at the fashion show mall and we we're walking up the escalators and I looked down and I saw some people's feet and then David was like, see, that's exactly what she was talking about. That's how you can tell people don't wash their feet. And I said, this is crazy. I said, see your feet in the bottom part. That ain't got nothing to do with a pedicure. That's black. <laughs> that's hygiene or the lack thereof. That part. Who we'll see. Okay, there, there you go. There was living proof. You saw it in, in with your own two eyes. But yes, so thank you. You and go enjoy your quality time. I'm happy to hear that you have set and are maintaining boundaries because that's a whole other word in ministry of this year. Um, yes. But yes, so thank you all for listening. Just like I said, even the theme is stop. Just stop and be still. Don't do anything. Trust the process. It is working itself out for your good. It will be, even this year, there has been good that has come from it and there will be more good to come from it. And, you know, praying for those who have lost family members um, who are currently battling, whether it be COVID or any other type of illness or harsh financial hardship, or just anything, um, as, do your best to try to find something positive to focus on as you're going through those things. and. Um, if you're not, be sure to follow, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. On Instagram, it's podcast, it's all good. YouTube, it's it's all good. You can watch the show. Um, and there's also merchandise that is, uh, excuse me, merchandise that you can get. Um, links are on the bio and on the site as well. So thanks for listening. And until next time.